I'm Dr. Pamela Clark. I'm the CEO and President of Newark Community Health Centers. First, I want to say thank you to Direct Relief for actually coming out today to help us in distributing goods for, the, uh, for our patients. Newark Community Health Centers have been in the community for 25 years. We provide service of adult medicine, pediatrics, um, dental and behavioral health services to the community. Hello, my name is Naveen Alkoli. I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Newark Community Health Centers Incorporated. We're a federally qualified health center that serves the greater Essex County. Uh, we have sites, seven sites located in uh, Newark, East Orange, Orange and Irvington. Um, our mission is to provide affordable quality health care and um, we are, uh, we serve the underserved, um, we serve people who have insurance, people who don't have insurance, and people who are underinsured. Hello, my name is Janice Woodford. I'm the Director of Nursing for Newark Community Health Centers Incorporated. We are a federally qualified health care facility serving Essex County, New Jersey. Over this last week, we've had devastation to our area as a effect of Hurricane Sandy. The hurricane came in with very strong winds, high surges, and knocked out power, multiple tree fallings, road closures, flooding. This has affected our patient population immensely. Um, they've lost power. They've lost refrigeration. They've not been able to obtain fuel. They've not able to, you know, maintain a quality standard of life. They're cold. The temperatures have gone from the 60s down to the 30 since the storm. Our patients, you know, are feeling the effects of losing all of their belongings that they've had, being displaced out of their homes, not having gas to transport from one place to another due to gasoline shortages in this area. The, the fact that some people still don't have power so they're probably going to present sicker than they would normally present. Um, a lot of people are unable to get here because of transportation so again if they're unable to present they're, you know, and, and once they're able to get transportation they're going to be sicker. Um, so you know, I foresee that maybe a lot of patients may end up in the emergency room because they're unable to get to us um, because we are the safety net. So I think you know those are things that will happen. And then you know if people don't have power, then they're unable to get food. And I think that's where you know it's great that you guys are giving us these nutritional supplements to be able to give to them. So at least they have some form of nutrition if they can't get a hot meal or if they can't cook their own food. I really do see a need for supplies. Um, people need nutritional supplies. They need personal care items, and of course medications. You know will help immensely.